Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Upskill channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set any image as the background in your file explorer. This simple customization can make your workspace more personal and visually appealing. And now let's get started. The first step is to open your browser and head to GitHub to download a tool called Explorer Tool, which I will leave the link in the description. On the GitHub page, scroll to the right side and look for the latest section. From there, scroll down again and select the x64 release version to download. Now head to your downloads folder and extract the file. Open the x64 folder, then right-click the register file and choose Run as Administrator. If prompted by Windows Defender Smart Screen, click More Info, then select Run Anyway. After that, click Yes and press any key to continue. By default, a sample image may already appear as your File Explorer background. Now, let me show you how to replace it with your own image. Now copy your own image and navigate back to the x64 folder. Inside, open the image subfolder and paste the images you copied. Then close File Explorer and reopen it again. You should now see your chosen image as the background. If it looks more like a photo than a subtle background, we can tweak the settings. Go back to the x64 folder, open the config file, scroll down and set the post type to five, which centers the image. Then change IMG alpha to 55 to adjust the image's opacity. Save the file, close it, and reopen File Explorer. You'll notice a nice blur effect, giving your background a cleaner and less distracting appearance. And if you ever decide to remove the background, uninstalling it is just as simple. Go back to the x64 folder, right-click on the uninstall file, run it as administrator, and click OK. When you reopen File Explorer, the background will be gone. That's all for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a like. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.